everyone. This is Angela Mills from Town Hall in Amherst, and we are recording this meeting of the Public Art Commission. And at this time, I would like to recognize that a special guest, Maureen Pollock, is here. Maureen, do you want to introduce yourself? Hi, everyone. My name is Maureen Pollock. I am a staff planner with the Town of Amherst, and I'm here to talk about a temporary art project. Um, the town has been awarded $10,000 to uh, do a call to artists for a temporary art installation. Um, the call to artists needs to go out at the end of this calendar year, and the event or installation needs uh, should occur next year, so in 2023. Thank you. And so I've just made Terry Holt the host. Terry, are you okay with that? I will do my best. And you, now that you're a host, you can let people in from the attendee room if you notice that there are people out, hanging out there that should be in here. Okay. And you can also make uh, Maureen a co-host if you'd like. All right. So thanks everyone for all the hard work and have a great meeting. Thank you very much, Angela. Be well. You too, thanks. Okay, Maureen, you are now a co-host. You know, I could call, uh, I could call Shoshona if you want, see what's going on. I think she said she was traveling and could maybe come in by phone, but I, I think that's where oh. what I saw. Oh, okay. She is off and about, I think, doing some traveling. Oh, she did I, come I thought in. she was going to be here, but. Okay. I was just going to add that um, she sent an email um, to me and, and others. I didn't check to really see who, who else was on the email list. Um, that she was traveling and she she may have tech uh, technology issues. Okay, oh, but she's going to try her best to attend. Okay. Well, in the meantime, um, Maureen, if you would kind of walk us through what you've done, I thank you so much for for what you've written up here. It's it's actually caused me to sleep a little bit better. <laughs> okay, uh, it's great to have this kind of written out so that we have an idea. Yeah, um, and I will add this is uh, I, I I decided to put yes. the draft in red to, just That's to great. make that very clear. So this is a you know a starting point. And um I spoke to other staff members in the planning department um about location and you know I I, th I think the town town staff is open to maybe open opening this up to um other possible locations such right. as for you to consider so Kendrick Park or Sweetser Park or town the town common or um it's the East Common on okay. along there um as as uh, possible locations um for the artists for you to consider do you just want one location or do you want to suggest um the, you know put it on the artists of where would they like to choose their art um and then they would indicate in their proposal um good question Lori. what are your, th your thoughts about that i think narrowing it down is probably a good idea but i'm not really sure um i guess what i was um stepping back a little from the details and going big picture i i was you know before we started recording i was curious about some of the things that i haven't had access to either the um Google Drive that has background from the um, commission and then um, also the minutes that I haven't been able to, to look at. If there's anything sort of, you know, that's already been done, so we're not reinventing the wheel. So, or are we starting sort of from, you know, it, is there anything that's, that we already, you know, has already been laid out? So I just want to make sure we're not missing anything as we start in tonight. And then the other thing is um, I'm assuming that we're trying to go through this tonight to come up with kind of an agenda to bring to the next meeting so that we can be efficient in terms of, you know, bringing our ideas in a way that can be very much narrowed down and within an hour or, or more at the next meeting than you can go forward from there, Maureen, with the call to artists. Right. So I just want to make sure I'm on track because the first I've heard of this was at the last meeting. Yeah, so we I'm usually gonna... do have we usually do have an agenda. I don't know what happened this time. Okay. So I think maybe for this time the agenda would be to get as much kind of outlined for for the next meeting. So obviously place is is important. I don't 
I think in, in my feeling is since there isn't a lot of time between now and putting this call to artists out, that the more we narrow things down, the better. Um, so I guess, you know, obviously one place is, is place. And reading this, I saw Kendrick Park. I suppose if there's just a very small number of places that, you know, one option would be to either narrow it down to one or give them the list, you know, or include the list of places in the open call. Right. So those that list would be Kendrick, and you just named them all up, but I didn't get them all. Kendrick, Sweetser. What were the others of where it could be? Uh, Sweetser Park, uh, Town, Common, or um, at uh, the East Common. Which one is the East Common? That's along Southeast Street. Oh, at the South. Oh, so like. The South yeah, Amherst, so what I think of as the nine. South Amherst Common. Yeah, so that's between uh, Route 9 and Main Street. I, I think that, stre that stretches uh, Southeast Street. It might be Northeast Street. Um, do you know, huh. and that's where the Amherst Glass is located. Oh, that corner there? Yeah. That little thing that kind of goes in front of the school? Yeah. I see. Well, I mean, my opinion, my feeling is that it downtown would get the most um, visibility. And so I think that staying in the downtown area. Yeah. And narrowing it down. And I don't know, the town common is nice in that, you know, there's activities going on in the town common often, but I'm not sure where and there's what plans to make changes to the town common, but that's not anytime soon, right? Well, those could be in the next year or two. So it might be nice just to, you know, the town common is sort of the primary open space in downtown and sort of the secondary public spaces or, or greens is Kendrick and Sweetser. So yeah. maybe it would be nice just to put focus on those while um, there, there may be um, part of the town common may be um, redesigned in the next year or two. So. Okay. It's just to sort of separate the projects. And Sweetser has the, you know, one of the one of the few uh, public art pieces that the town that the commission has been responsible for, right? The one that's missing one of its people, <laughs> 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 missing uh, what is it? What? Not Emily, but Robert Frost. Um, and then this and sweets are, you know, when I'm thinking about this space, Kendrick, Kendrick used to have a, a sculpture there, right? And now it's yes. not there anymore. Weren't yeah. there two sculptures there? There was on the list that she gave, Maureen gave us, there was, there was a link. Did you happen to take a look at that link that had the, like the tour of all the public art that we've done? Because there was a beautiful sculpture in Kendrick Park that I don't, I don't think is there any longer. Yeah, they were having some troubles with it. But the location lends itself really nicely to sculpture. Yep. Right. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. This is the link. Oops. Yeah, yeah, yeah that that's interesting. I did have a comment about the link um, because a lot, of, I think that was developed, that was put together. I think it was by the, um, what was it? The town of, the town, um, I don't know. It's it's outdated. It is <laughs> whoever, a little dated, yeah. Whoever put it together, it's outdated. Yeah, there's that one. That's not there anymore, right? Yeah. That, which I think was part that was uh, I think installed through UMass, right? And then there was one, and there was another one that kind of looked like tree limbs, but I think that's gone too. That actually, one that is uh, still there. Um, well, actually, that one has been removed. Um, it's by the playground um mm -hmm. and it's been replaced with something similar okay oh okay the coloring of the tree limbs is different it's almost like charcoal but the tree limb but it's back the, another one yeah yeah and is that on loan is that on loan um i mm, um what is it on like loan like soil do you mean no loan l-o-a-n Oh, you know, that's a good question. I don't know. 
I yeah, just wondered I noticed it and, and I informed. Yeah, these are kind of the things that I'm curious about just as background and we don't have to get into it quite, you know, now, but I think it's really important coming into this to understand like, what are the ones that we're responsible? How do things get on that list? You know, like we should, I feel like we definitely have to, as soon as we get through this, we really need to work on that list and make it really up to date and clear. I know that sculpture that looks like trees is by um, Harold Grinspoon, and he has put a lot of those throughout the community, you know, the Pioneer Valley, and probably it's on loan to the town, but who's managing that? Who says that could be there? Who, you know, that seems like this commission should really know what's happening with anything that's public art. Um, and that's the reason I'm thinking about it this way is in terms of this call for artists, it's kind of in the context of what's already here. You know, it's going to sit somewhere in relationship to what else is here. Mm -hmm. And so in the, in Kendrick, then that would be one that would, I'm assuming still be there then. And so maybe the spot would be more towards the end where that other one used to be, but isn't there anymore. Um, but I think I think Kendrick is nice. There's the playground there. You drive past it. And I mean, we're kind of talking about sculpture, but it sounds like there was possibilities in the draft for it to be not sculpture, for it to be right. like a weekend happening event or something, you know, right. so. That would be a great place to have performances and festivals too, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think well, when we go in front of the entire commission, we should um, ask to vote for the location. That should be one of the first things that we do so that we narrow that down so that we can put that right into our draft here. And since we've already kind of said these, you know, these places might not look the best, this isn't decision making. This is just, you know, in our, in our, when our talking and discussion about it, these two places kind of stood out as it looked like the best places to, to have this these things located. Mm -hmm. And then let's decide on those things. So narrowing down the list of possibilities is probably useful in this right now, if you think that's something we can do in this meeting. Yeah, so, so then Kendrick or Sweetser. Yeah. What do you think? So Jim? I'll put a I'll put in bold face. We need to vote early on location so it yeah. sends out people can start thinking about it. Great. Because I think you know, the location will also uh, help us figure out if we want to have some kind of a theme. Um, Maureen, you've written this so so lovely and um, gives us so much uh, so much potential for creativity. And I love that. And I, I don't know if you want to if you want to continue keeping it quite as open, if we want to maybe narrow it down to a little bit more, you know, more of a theme. Um, maybe something as Lori talked about going going with the same kind of art that's already in place in Kendrick would be, you know, a conservation theme or a nature theme, you know, and how that how that brings the community together and something. So it might be that we um, quickly <laughs> choose a location and maybe talk about some ideas for themes and then vote as fast as we can, or we leave it open. I'm not really sure which way to go, but um, I don't know the history of Kendrick Park. I don't either, um, to be honest, but there must be um, some, it would be um, interesting, even just for our knowledge, um, to hear about it, and and then Sweetser Park, and um, just so the artist has a better understanding, and, and maybe like um, the, so the site, and then maybe the surrounding properties, just so. I can do that, I can look it up. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I do remember that there used to be a house on in Kendrick Park that yeah, was they, yep, yep. owned by um, an Amherst resident and they then gifted it to the town. So I don't know if, you know, that property and then it became a, a park, but it had a house on it for many years. So it may have been that that property wasn't always, obviously not all of it was owned by the town. Um, yeah, you're you're making me uh, ring. You're ringing a bell. I, I think there might have been a variety of houses located there. I think so. Something. I yeah. So, so. I, yeah. So I find that kind of interesting. So what you know, what's the historic background, or like uh -huh. how has, has this space been used in the, in the past and currently? 
Uh -huh. um, and anything else that's sort of unique that we would want to sort of capture. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe we research that and bring that information to the meeting on the 14th and say, this is the history of Kendrick. This is the history of, of uh, Sweetser. And so that we have that information, and we can either put it in the draft here in the, in the RP. RP the yeah. Name? And um, so I could reach out to my colleague, uh, Nate, uh, 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 and uh, fellow planner, uh, Nate Malloy. He uh, works closely with the historic commission. Okay. Um, and so he probably um, has that sort of information um, documented somewhere. So I could reach out to him to see if we can sort of. Uh, we'll get so if you if you need any help with uh, history of art, there's probably no per better person to talk to than my wife, who is presently the president of the Amherst Heart of uh, History. Ah, we yeah. have an in. So is there a way we can get this information sent out to our commissioners before the next meeting so we can all kind of read up on it and be prepared? Yeah, um, I, well, before I, I say yes or no, what, what, I forget, when's the next meeting? Um, the 14th? The 14th. Yeah, I think, yeah. I, I Let me talk to Nate at least and see how uh, quickly I can get this information. He might say tomorrow, here you go. So it might be as quick as of uh, as an email or may, maybe I'll have to do some research and, and perhaps reach out to James's to Jim's wife. Okay. If, so if either of you need any help with that, let me know. I'm happy to help put something together so our commissioners to have like an idea of what we're looking at. Maybe yep. So so our next meeting is when? I believe it's November 14th. Am I correct well, on that? This is interesting. Somehow I'm not getting emails because I didn't know that. Uh, Shoshona sent an email earlier today um, just oh, letting, weird. yeah, the people who could not make this meeting know that we'll be meeting our 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 our, our regular meeting will be on the fourteenth. I'm hoping I'm, I'm correct. I probably need to take a look. But. Well, I, I it is the fourteenth. Okay, I, I have you. that from last time in my date book um, that we agreed, but I don't know um, if I I didn't see the email come today. But I can check that right now just to see, Jim, if you're on there. Um, well, I may have gone to spam or something. That happens. Um, let me just. I haven't been in my office very much. Okay. Well, in terms of theme, I mean, in some ways, it is very open ended. I don't. I mean, I guess that would be a question. Either do we leave it open ended, or do we narrow down to theme? And if so, what are the themes we would want to choose from? Have there been any that were previously recommended that were? Not that I know of. Do we really need a theme? I'm, an, I'm a contrarian on theme. <laughs> I was just thinking it would be nice to have some cross collaboration, but I think on this project in particular, we're not going to have time for that. I think in future projects, I'd really like to bring in some other organizations and commissions when we do when we think about our public art going forward. But with the timeline on this, we may need to just leave it open ended, as Jim said, because of practicality. You know, I hate that. I really would love to. I wish we could narrow and focus more, but I don't think we have the time. What do you think, Lori? Um, I think it makes judging it a little more challenging, but we might get some really interesting things leaving it wide open. We might get a lot more entries if we leave it wide open. And if we narrow it down, we'll have fewer. So that might be more interesting, <laughs> right? <laughs> to leave it open. What are you thinking, Maureen? Yeah, I I see the pros and cons. I don't think there's a, uh, I, I don't think there's a bad answer or a bad approach. I think they're just, choices. So um, we could, you could take this project and, and go with the no theme. And, and then I'm sure, uh, yeah, it, it, you'll get uh, such a, a, a diverse range of um, proposals in, in regards of content. And I, I think, yeah, I think it might be helpful for artists to have it open ended and leave it up to them. And then, and then it's, it's your response, you know, you would be reviewing all of them so you could obviously pick the 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 winning one and then and then hopefully be inspired for future themes or project ideas 
One of the things that I did when I was sort of feeling overwhelmed and lost about this whole project, <laughs> and I sent it to Terry, was I looked at all the other towns that um, had this, were given this um, training, or, you know, well, were able to participate in the training and, and get this uh, access to these funds. And I was looking at, well, what did they do? <laughs> so, you know, some of them have called, had called, they, one of them is um, to create summer outdoor reading rooms. And then two of them are connected to river art walks and working with, you know, art, at, art for these river art walks in their areas. And then there were a few others. So they were, um, they were narrowed down. Um, and they were inter and then I tried to think about the art that we do have, which tends to be so far, what we have tends to speak to Amherst history in terms of the writers who the important writers who have been here and their you know the quotes and quotes on the t the ceramic tiles and you know sort of speaking to Amherst the arts and the history of Amherst and arts and so I, I think, you know, when I was thinking about it, I was like, well, what's important here in Amherst? There's, you know, if you look at Amherst history, I don't know what we would narrow down to. Or if there was, I think you mentioned at one point there was something on, I don't know, was there a, an outdoor um, walking path or something that you may have mentioned last time? I can't remember that someone recommended from a meeting you had with a different group. Um, oh, was it the Robert Frost Trail and having art along? Oh, sure, yeah. Because that was something. Yeah, I remember reading about that. So yeah. that you know that kind of thing, I think, could be interesting if we wanted to narrow it down on you know some like it, I'm sorry. If one of the things I like the idea of if we, if we did do it a, a, uh, like along the Robert Frost trail or something path that it gets people out there you know it gets people in into other spaces so that's one idea but it doesn't have to be for this one yeah I like another way I, I, I was just thinking I, I I like your perspective Lori um if you were to consider making this sort of um open-ended and leave it up to the artist since this is a temporary in nature uh, you know, that you could, you know, allow a little flexibility and whimsy and imagination uh, for the artist, knowing that this won't be a permanent fixture. So folks that may be like, oh, that, you know, art is so subjective that someone is going to love this, someone's not going to like it so much. And it will be helpful to remind all that this is temporary in nature. And, you know, perhaps if residents in the town of Amherst really loves it, perhaps there could be a continued conversation of figuring out a way to make it permanent. Mm -hmm. It's a really good perspective, Lori. Um, there were like a, in Concord, they have, what is it Concord? They have an art ramble and um, the Barnhill Conservancy site, I think, I don't, I'm trying to remember the name of it, but it's an art ramble. So it's, it's, temporary by nature. And um, it's basically inviting artists to create a work of art based on natural surroundings, something that would fit in. Um, and it would be, um, and their kickoff was basically um, almost like a festival, like come out um, on the trails and and visit the art and, you know, um, knowing that it wouldn't be surviving more than a season or two, you know, and that is the nature of this kind of installation. Uh, it really invited a lot of creativity uh, and and people really loved, as you said, getting out there in nature and and, and finding art in, in interesting places and that cross conversation that you have of you know people with art and where they encounter it and what it how it speaks to them. Um, that's a really neat idea. I like the idea of the Robert Frost Trail a lot. Um, from for practical purposes, would that be something that would be really challenging, Maureen? Um, well, it would be a conversation with the conservation commission if it's within the town of Amherst. Okay. Um so um I would have to see if that's something that would be entertained by by the conservation commission. It might be that yeah. that might be better for a future 
Yeah, um, so maybe, maybe to keep project. it simpler, we stick with, you know, the, yeah. the Kendrick Park, we keep, it's temporary in nature, right. it, there's, um, it could be, as you, you know, lay out here, it could be an installation, it could be a sculpture, it could be an event, it could be whatever the artist wants it to be, but I think in, I, I do like keeping in that it, that it needs to sort of pay attention to the land that it's on, right? You know, the history of the land that it's on. Yeah, I agree with that. It's yeah. very important. So maybe having a generic call, very generic. You know, it wouldn't be um, quite as open ended as this. Maybe maybe give a little bit more parameters. Very keywords. You know, bringing community together. You know, something very very uh, that invites a lot of opportunity and creativity. Mm -hmm. um, but and it's not like a scene. It's just people would have to kind of fit their ideas into this very general thing. That might be a good way to go. Mm -hmm. See, as far as an event is concerned, the history since I've been on the commission was small and poorly recognized in the media. So I think something that is like on along the Robert Frost Trail actually might get more attention because then it draws both from art and the Robert Frost Trail. I mean, and it lasts longer. I mean, an event lasts an hour and mm -hmm. the art along the trail would be there for a long time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. So those are two ideas that we can bring in front of the whole commission. We can say, you know, here are the, you know, these two parks, um, here's some, here some things we could do and here are the history, um, or we could uh, decide to do something uh, along the Robert Frost Trail. Uh, although we do, we recognize that that's going to be a little bit more tricky and we haven't really thought, you know, thought of that yet. And that might be something we may need to do at a future time, but we can propose it to commission to see what, what folks say. I've seen art pieces that were just so powerful. It was one in um, Central Park in New York City and you went on a walk through the park, but you first went and you got your headphones and then you wore your headphones as you walked oh, along. Yeah. Hearing this story and this, uh, the whole park came alive in a completely different way. Yeah. And it was fabulous. So I mean, someone could do something like with sound or, you know, that there's, a, there's a lot of opportunities to take in the history of the surroundings yeah. or just the experience of the place that artists can do with sound. So you just, projects, yeah. having having set out didn't want a theme. I'm going to like say you could have a really cool theme if it was nature or the Robert Frost Trail or something really broad. Mm -hmm. And then I like that. That's a really good idea. If we could really come up with an outdoor art exhibition with headphones and a nice recorded. I mean, that would be really cool. Have you guys ever heard of the immersive theater? Um, uh, they, uh, Linda McInerney of Egg Tooth Productions, um, this is probably five years ago, she did a, a, a event in Amherst, and I believe I, I went to it, I believe I had to wear headphones, and it brought me around downtown to various stops, and uh, you uh, interacted with either an actor, or perhaps there was dancing, or there wow. was like an art piece that you had to find. It was pretty neat. I've been to a few of them and it could certainly, it's just a, another idea, but it could be certainly something along a trail. I wonder if there's a way to, to create like a, something that, something that in terms of a theme, and I don't know the language, but some, some theme that engages, that invites the artist to create something that um, invites our community to engage with our surroundings, whether it's on a public, you know, trail like the Robert Frost Trail or various important sites in town. You know, I, I don't know that that's kind of a theme, but I don't know how to put that into the right language, but. Because think well, the other thing it might do, which we could use is publicize the Amherst Public Art Commission more because it doesn't it doesn't have a budget doesn't get a whole lot of attention in the press i don't think uh i would like to see more people be aware of that it's here and it's valuable and 
doing something like we just discussed might have that additional benefit. Well, I definitely think once we figure out what this call to artists is, we should do a big press release. Mm -hmm. Letting, you know, that we've been, that you, you know, that you were chosen, that the, the town was chosen, that Maureen, you did participate in this whole program. And at the end of it, we have this call to artists with uh, funding for $10,000 to do this project. And here's our call for artists. And, you know, we should do a whole big, you know, PR thing on that. So Maureen, as part of the um, this process, is there somebody who, as part of the Amherst like town council, is do we have use of anybody who writes press releases or anybody who does marketing for the town that we would use, or we would do that ourselves? I, I can assist you with writing a press release, and we have uh, like a communications manager that works uh, within our IT department, Brianna uh sonard and she will um does the um uh, is in charge of like social media um posts and updating the website and she meets with uh the local newspapers and i think every tuesday so the town definitely has a lot of strategies of how to go up about this and um and I, I know at the last meeting, some you guys had mentioned um, a variety of uh, other places. Like there's the uh, Valley, the Valley Art Newsletter. It comes out every Tuesday. Yeah, I definitely recommend it if you aren't on that listserv yet. And um, it it shows you different um, calls to art. So actually, uh -huh. even just doing the call to artists could be posted there. And then when there's an actual event or there's the the ribbon cutting, the uh, opening reception, and then you know for all that that can be posted there um and then i i think it was you terry that mentioned like uh boss there's like a boston art website yeah art boston yeah and then i will say that um which could be the same thing but um the funding sources uh new england foundation yeah. for the yeah. arts they're wonderful yeah. see and the forecast forecast public art will help promote this as well yeah i don't know those the last one but uh, I do. This is the work I do for the town of Arlington. So I'm. I, I would do that communications and marketing. Some, I have some uh, awareness of how they do it. Um, so if we talk to, well, Brianna Sonard. So N N A R D. S. Uh, how do you spell her last name? Hold on a second. Um, uh, S U N R Y D. Oh, sorry, S U N Y R D. D. Yep. Okay. Thank you. Okay, great. I'm glad we have somebody we can work with for that. That's great. Yeah, Nefa will be putting I, I it on their website. Work with her for like other for other projects to, uh, doing this sort of stuff. Okay. The MAPC and the NEFA will put will put whatever we do on their websites too, so we'll get publicity from from that as well. Uh, do does Amherst Public Art have any kind of um, banner or? Um, signage uh logos anything like that so that we can have a, a temporary installation just saying this is you know this comes from funds you know etc this is from your town commission kind of thing is there any do we have anything like that if they do assets? i'm not aware of it okay. i've been on the commission for over a year okay all right so i think we got some homework to do right. uh, i really want to figure out what our assets are and what our <laughs> you know, marketing assets are. And if we don't have them, we should maybe work on developing them. But that's a yeah. whole other conversation. Sorry. <laughs> I, I could call the former chairman and see if he can bill. I can see if he comes up with anything on if you want. If you think a logo is worth it, I'll I'll go chase it and see if we got anything. I think maybe we as a commission could get together and talk about, you know, what our plans are for for promoting things in the future. But as part of this project, I think I hope that we can put aside a little bit of the funding here to develop at least a sign that says this is, you know, this is the work of your your Amherst, you know, Public Art Commission. I hope that can be part of it. <laughs> Just as Jim yeah. said, so that we can, you know, get our name out there a little bit. So do you mean like a, a like a a fabricated sign? Yeah. Just an easy. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. There could be like a wayfinding or um, great. Uh, Whatever, yeah, whatever the word would be, but yeah, a sign that would be erected. Um, yeah, the project and 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 then 
say all the 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 you know your committee and then perhaps even the funders or or not whatever you want it to say i know a really good graphic artist that might be able to come up with a logo i think the more the more um the more talk we can get about our <laughs> projects one. going forward we'll have more fodder for when we go in front of the fincom and ask for funds for next year you know i think it's right. really important for us to have these kind of things well documented and marketed so that we have yeah. some buzz and, you know and the other thing if you start a little buzz like that going on it it would attract business to downtown amherst so i mean it could be good for the community if we had you know if we had a reputation for having good art good public art goals okay maureen so um we've got some ideas here what is the next step here Lori? do you want anything is there anything else you wanted to talk about i guess i'm on i'm still on, stuck on the theme <laughs> <laughs> um i made some notes so you know it could it could be this very open-ended thing it it it's um could you know, so it could range from someone submitting a project for a sculpture, you know, in Kendrick Park to something, you know, where either we, we su are suggesting, I'm thinking about, and I don't really have the language for this, I, you know, would, someone could think about maybe writing something up, but if we go with something where we're calling for something, it's temporary in nature, but that is related to, to the town, of Amherst through its natural surroundings, the history and or the history of the town and its inhabitants, uh, its history, the community, you know, sort of some way to say like this, whatever it is, should take into consideration these things. So it could be something, you know, incorporating like the, if we want to say the Robert Frost Trail. I don't know. So I guess we could bring the, this to our, our to something to, to vote on at the okay. November meeting of who, what who's going to get that done to get what we want voted on on the agenda who's going to be responsible I'm sorry what did you say Jim I didn't hear that I said like somebody needs to be responsible for getting what we want on the agenda actually showing up and I was wondering who's going to do that how does that work? We propose it to you just uh, all you gotta do is uh come up with it and ask Shoshona to put it on the agenda and then we'll show up on the agenda. Yeah, we're kind of new to this, Lori and I. <laughs> well, yeah. if you want, just send me what you want on the agenda and I'll take care of it. Okay. So um, just tell me what you want. And well, I um, think so. Number one is to vote for the location, and yeah. we have uh Kendrick and Sweeter, yeah. okay. and then we also, um, if it works with the town, I forget who you said, Maureen, town, the, the people who are responsible for the parks, or the, the Robert Frost Trail. Oh, uh, I think I'll have to talk to Dave Zilmack. Uh, he's the assistant town manager, and he's the director of conservation. Right. So okay, I'll, he'll know. Uh, it, I think it's the Conservation Commission, um, but it, uh, most likely. Um, so I, I'll I'll check with him, and then um, he's like step one, and then based on what he says, uh, then step two would be approaching the Conservation Commission. Okay, okay, so the Conservation Commission. So the other piece of it would also be: can we include a place like the Robert Frost Trail, and that would need to go through the Conservation Commission? So that that would be. The location agenda right and then the theme is either to bring it it's either a very open-ended or something more specific with focus with particular focus um to and i i think my suggestion is with particular focus to the to the town of amherst either on its natural you know the natural surroundings of the town the history the people who have lived here you know whatever cre creates our town and makes it uniquely the town of amherst i like like something like um you know intersections nature and history in amherst kind of um something something of that nature 
it's all Very about nice. It's all about verbiage, right? <laughs> yeah, I like that. So intersections, what did you say? Intersections? intersections, colon, nature plus history and Amherst, kind of how those two intersect in, a, in our town. That could be something, you know, it could be, it's a very generic kind of a theme and it lends itself to, you know, there's a lot of creativity. You can, you could take that anywhere. Um, as long as you're kind of, and, and if, as we talk about the history of at least these, well, these, of these three locations we're considering, um, a little, you know, this work into what of the history of these places, that's something we would publicize maybe in, in, and, um, and, and say, how do these, these, this history, the history of these locations interact with the nature all around you and invite you to encounter it in a certain way. That's I like that. Good, yeah. Something like that. Maybe so it's very generic. I don't know. Uh, we could, maybe we come up with a few themes, uh, of that nature and, um, put those on the agenda and then we have something to vote for. Does that sound, okay. what do you think, Maureen? Yeah. Does that sound? Yeah, I think that's great. Yeah, and, um, perhaps. Um... I, I would suggest you don't try to put the themes on the agenda because you'll fro freeze creativity. That way, I would suggest that we put develop theme on the agenda and then we come prepared with whatever we have come up with in the meantime. Okay, okay. And you might want to just say, because because we really want you to review and approve the open call for artists. So, right. um, so you know, it may cover items that you might not at this exact moment be thinking of. So you may want to just put on the agenda for the review and approval of the call for artists for the temporary public art project. And That's just at least very open-ended. Yeah, that is the most important thing right now at this point is to get this open draft call for artists approved <laughs> that we can move on to the next phase because November, you know, that's it. <laughs> then we have December. Yeah. So that's the most important number one on, on this list. Well, uh, probably three actually, or two is, is actually calling for some kind of vote to approve the open call. Okay. So, uh, Laurie, will you send me what your notes are, please? On the theme issue. Okay. Yeah, it just would help just in case I missed something. Okay. Okay. And you're um I'm I'll find your email, but what is it? So well, the easiest it. one is james.barnhill at post.harvard.edu. James Barnhill. At post, you know, dumb as yeah. a post dot harvard dot edu. Harvard like the beat. Dot post. I don't know if I have that, dot, but it's probably in post, our, our post.harvard.edu. James.barnhill.post? At post.harvard. Yeah. Oh, at post.harvard.edu. Okay. That's where I went to school. Okay. I'll send, I'll send my notes as well, Jim, so we can. Great. If that's helpful, no. Edward. Um, and if you want to um, just kind of reply to us so that we kind of agree on what we're going to present. I'm going to send you a draft agenda. Great. But and um, here's the thing, draft agenda. You can send me alterations that you want. Do not discuss it with anyone else or you will be vi possibly violating the open meeting law. Now that said, since we don't have a quorum, you're probably not. So, you know, two people can discuss something when you got a quorum of four. Okay. Okay. And so on this open call, there was one part in it, Maureen, where I read, I just read it briefly, something about like a slab or putting uh, there, if you, maybe we should go just scroll down and see if there's some things on here where, that we need to discuss. So this is the project overview and scope, uh -huh. um, context and background. Uh-huh. And then, um, uh, and then it gets into what the, yeah. and I think this should say receive up to $10,000. Um, just because if we were to get a sign, that might, that, that would have to be part of that $10,000. And right. there could be some sort of administrative fees. Um, like if we wanted to put something in like a, some sort of special advertisement in the paper that we would, hopefully not have to pay for it, but God forbid, or okay. Okay. Um, that hopefully would be covered. But anyways, it would cover costs, including design fee, materials, fabrication, transportation, installation, 
Um, so I, I will add that a lot of this is, or this this call here is really geared towards a physical like uh, installment, and um, it doesn't. I don't get into great detail about if it's an event, right? So I I think I would want to add like another oh. sentence um, that's specific to an event. Um, let Shoshana, Shoshana is in here. I'm gonna let her in. Oh, she's in. Here she is. So the other thing is, if we're going to vote for a call, we need to have that distributed in advance. So we'll have something to vote on. Like a, dra a draft call. Mm -hmm. Are we to the point where we can get one? I'm not sure we are. What do you think? Well, that makes sense if you have a, that, you know, this needs to be kind of Shoshona. Oh, there's Shoshona. Hi, guys. Sorry, I'm late. I'm not, having, I mean, I, I, I hear I'm having a giant life crisis right oh, now. I'm so oh, sorry. No. Yeah, but the good thing is uh, I it brought me back into town, so I'm actually able to join you on the computer so I can actually see this stuff, so that's good. <laughs> I'm sorry, and I'm also glad to, to kind of see you. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's wrong with my computer. I can't. I don't know. Everything is in whatever. Computers are finicky. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just oh. mute myself if I start sobbing uncontrollably. Oh, oh honey, no. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Oh. But anyways, I don't want to distract anymore. Okay. Okay, Lori, you were saying, I'm sorry. Um, I, Jim had brought up uh, that this call as it stands now, which is a draft, would need to be revised into more of a final form for us to actually vote on it next, at the next meeting. Okay. Um, or if we still have it in draft form, then revise during the meeting so that, I mean, we're gonna have to have some, some Kind of final thing to be able to vote on right right i think that's what jim's speaking to and i think yeah yes i agree that's probably true so as far as putting this on the agenda this would be probably last on the agenda for this particular subcommittee kind of i know there's other things to talk about in our meetings but this is pretty priority you know this is priority mm -hmm. so maybe we start with hey location and then let's talk about generic theme and number three is okay now we have those things voted on i hope um, can we approve the final the final open call? Then hopefully we'll get yeses and move forward. Yeah. And then we can move on with the other business that we have on the commission. <laughs> yeah. Um, there was, oh, this is what I wanted to ask about, Maureen, on the screen now, is this four by four concrete pad. What's the story with that? Oh, I was referencing, uh, um, other uh call to artists and um i sort of just cut and pasted that um that was um particular to an rfp for a sculpture so that's where i put these little um squiggly oh okay. yeah so i, I should have made a note but um so i like i like the wording of it and so i kind of just didn't want to forget about it um i see. wanted to get this specific Maybe in um, the proposal we put in front of the commission, we put a little, you know, parentheses, you know, if if this is a sculptural installation, these are the parameters for those, you know, for those, for that I, choice. I personally think you're better off if you, we figure out what we want and be very specific about it and not give them a tentative thing. It just has a, I mean, I teach persuasion theory, it just has more punch. You know, if you come across saying we know exactly what we want, we know how we're going to get it. Now, please approve it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, the question is, how do we get from where we are now to there before the next meeting? Right. Before the next meeting. Yeah. If we want this to be to well, put this on the on agenda. Well, that's yeah. a good question. Um, if you want, you could individually email me um, any suggestions that you may have. You could either just put it in an uh, email or perhaps if you want to put uh, do some track changes in the Word document. Um, so uh, on the 
theme and location and anything else that uh, that you notice that should be reworked, that would be really helpful if you could email it to me in advance of the meeting so then I could incorporate it uh, in, in the document. We okay. could have a we could have a two person subcommittee whose job it is to put a proposal together. Or if we did that, it would be subject to open meeting law, however. Yeah, so if if you were to individually just email me any suggestions or questions that you may have. Okay. Um, and then I can incorporate that all in one document and then redistribute it to you as information that doesn't violate the open meeting yeah. law. That sounds okay. great, Maureen, let's let's do that. As long as you don't discuss it, just sending it for the agenda item is not, you're right. Um, on this selected temporary, the, the four by four concrete foot pad, we don't have that, right? We don't have the concrete foot pad. No, so like let's just say that that it is a sculpture. We would we would want to put it. I, I talked to the building commissioner about this actually, because um, I was like, oh, would they need a concrete pad? And he he seems to think that they would want to put it on some sort of, um, you know, leveled uh, hard surface for a sculpture, for instance. So it's it's prep, you know, properly installed. So um, maybe we should do wording more like that. The you know. If, if, you know, if the proposed, you know, guidelines and specifications for, for sculpture, you know, for temporary art, it, it would need to be um, securely anchored, for example, to a four by four concrete, because they need to, I think they need to pay for the concrete foot pad, right? Mm -hmm. They would. So maybe change, changing that language a little bit. Yeah, to something to a secured hard surface, right? Know, secured yeah. surface attached to the ground with a hard surface. Yeah, yeah, I like. Yeah, that's a good suggestion. Yep. So, any okay. suggestions we have, we're going to send to Maureen. She's going to incorporate into this proposal, and we'll talk about it in the next meeting. Um, Lori um, and Jim and Maureen too. If if we want to just, is it okay to email back and forth our ideas so we can kind of hone these things down so before we put things mm. on the agenda? No, okay. You can't really discuss things like that because okay, that's fine. If, you, if you discuss it with me and I discuss it with somebody else and then two more people, that's a quorum and I just violated the open meeting. Gotcha. Right. Okay. All right. Well, I'm, I'm being aware of the time and Maureen, I see it's, it's after seven. So um, I want to see if we can wrap this up. So we're really appreciative of your time. Thank you so much. Yeah. Hey, is there any more as we like scroll that we need to that all oh, again good. so this is guidelines and uh specifications um again this is uh this is all really geared towards um like a physical installation uh, right, mm -hmm. right so this right. last one uh, i ran out of time but um i would say that we should and i can talk to um we should come up with guidelines and uh, for submissions related to um like an event performance uh, or festival, and I, I can reach out to Gabrielle Gould from the uh, Amherst Bid and Cultural District, and who also is part of the Drake. I'm sure she should have um, a lot of good suggestions that we can incorporate. Great, thank you so much. Yep. Um, I think the other area that I remember from reading at would be the selection process. Um, and again, I think that's a, like thinking about everything going on in our town right now. And we're a committee of, I think we're all white, right? So I wanna make sure that we um, embrace diversity somehow in our selection committee. committee. Well, that's, I think that's beyond our scope. It's town staff. It's, you know. <laughs> I don't know. Can we invite someone to be on our, on the selection, on, on the, not on the committee, but can we invite someone in terms of the reviewers, the people who are going to choose this? Hmm. I don't know. That's town politics thing. It was a good idea in my opinion, but. I don't know the answer. It's a great idea. I don't. I don't. I know. I, I can. Know I can um, reach out to uh, our new uh, diversity, equity, inclusion uh, uh, director, Pamela Young, about that. Um, that would be great. There, 
Um, yeah, that so would be great. Guess, uh, particular maybe, committee. Maybe we could ask. Because maybe around. maybe it could be like with additional representation from the Amherst Disability Access Advisory Committee and the Diversity Committee. Right. Mm. Yeah, that would yeah. be good. It would be Just good to sure not have, have a repeat yeah. of what happened in Northampton happen to us. Okay. Yes. I think we maybe should run this by Mr. Brockelman before we conclude anything. I think that's Lori. That's a really good idea. Thank you. And Maureen, if we could, if we could do that, just add some more people to the selection committee. You know, I think yeah. that'd be really, really smart. Yeah. And Jim, um, Paul Brockelman will. Um, review this uh good call. okay yeah because this has some uh significant political consequences and that's why i've suggested that it does and i think we really need to be mindful and as aware as we can yeah and I, I know paul obviously i know paul and he would be very supportive of of being as inclusive as possible and um making sure that um you know um all um demographics are part of this selection process. Yep. Good, yeah. and we have committees set up for that now from my understanding of the little that I listened to from the meeting last night. So that we should be able to do it by including one of these other committees that's already formed. Right. Yeah. Great. And then eligibility. Um, it gets into just uh, the type of sort of um, background we would we would desire to um, to apply. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then will and will you will you figure out kind of the applications will be accepted through question mark website? <laughs> yeah, that was the best I could do. Um, yeah, and I'll talk to Brianna, who I said, uh, who's our communication manager, um, to see uh, if she has what her suggestions would be. Um, our, we have a really robust website, the, the town, the AmherstMA.gov, and then we also have it's called Engage Amherst, mm -hmm. um, which is very robust, and I um, I've used with some uh, another project I'm working on. So. I'm sure either of their websites could uh, handle this well, um, and then we can, of course, do it the old snail mail way of of mailing it in, or or just uh, even just accepting it by email. Right. Okay. Okay. Shona, when did you join the meeting? Did you happen to notice the time? I did not. Sorry. It was before seven. My uh, right around six fifty-five. Yeah, okay, thanks. And then the timeline, um, these are all sort of, I think actually pretty good guesstimates, but. <laughs> um, um, uh, does, the, does the committee tend to meet monthly? Is that generally the? Yes. Okay, so I think if we could then, we're gonna meet November, then if we could meet in December, um that first week of december so that all the final approvals could go before this gets launched in december so maybe yeah that's a good idea i mean maybe that december 9th 12th might end up changing to december 19th right you know? yeah that first date might need to be have a little wiggle room um sure. do you yeah. want to have another subcommittee meeting um before we have our next uh, our december meeting um, or I guess it depends on what we get done in the next meeting, in the next monthly what meeting. subcommittee? I, I would be available, to... I think, on my schedule to meet another time as this committee if we need to. Not just the, whoever's, everyone's invited, of course. But... So are you talking about having a subcommittee, which I don't have in the minutes at this point? Uh, I think it's a suggestion of a subcommittee, yeah. but I think we decided not to. Yeah, that's that what that I would... thought. Plus, we can't form one now that I think of, I'm oh, doing, now we have a forum. I'm doing finger quotes. I don't really mean subcommittee. I mean, uh, we, people who are here right now and whoever else wants to join, if we want to talk again 
before the December meeting. Right. We have to get any other details together to find to have a final vote on December 12th or 19th. <laughs> Thank you. Well, um, well, we do have the meeting on the 14th. Yeah, right. But after we come out of that meeting, if, if we have not come to all the details we needed to finalize this open call, um, maybe we have, maybe we kind of possibly plan a meeting before December. 19th. Yeah. Yeah, so we that we can just to kind of for wiggle room. But, well, I think morning. we need to have I think we need to have a full meeting um, in December, and I'm guessing that that would be the first week of December oh, for okay. the, for the full committee. In that case, and, we're probably fine. And okay. just warning about this talk about a subcommittee. Just I know we've already said it, but I'm gonna say it again, <laughs> which is if you get four people either. It, it discussing the same thing either in series or together at one time you have an open meeting problem okay so i think we're i think what we're talking about is uh or let me reiterate what i think i heard okay. <laughs> i think i have uh has happened so far and maybe shoshana this is helpful for you but um so we have um agenda items that we are going to be proposing for the next meeting, which will be on November 14th. For those items, we will send them. Um, and we'll send our notes to you, Jim, from what we've what we've come up with from this meeting. So to make sure that you know everything kind of gets in there right. of all the things we talked about, Terry and I will send you our notes. And then we will um, from there, uh, agenda items will be proposed for yep. the 14th. And then at the 14th, we will want to set up a date for our December meeting, right. ho hopefully the first week, so that we can then do the final approvals if we haven't already done it, which I can't imagine we will at the next meeting, right. um, and then have the final proposal approved in the December meeting to then go out either on the 12th or the 19th. And if in the meantime, from the November meeting, we, we, we really feel like we need to meet in between, then we could propose to maybe do another one of these meetings or a full meeting, depending on who can attend. I want to also add that Maureen has asked us to send any changes and suggestions to this document so that we can incorporate those into the document when we're when we go to November 14th meeting. Yes. So on our list to do Lori and Jim is to kind of put together our thoughts and send those off to Maureen. Uh, and also to send us, we'll also send our notes about this meeting to Jim so he can get those agenda items correct. Yep. So to wrap up, is there anything else we need to cover regarding this? Maureen, I'm so appreciative that you're here and thank you for all the work you've done. I, it's, it's really made by just reading this really <laughs> it gave me a lot of peace. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, you're not the only one actually. <laughs> this, uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm glad. Thank you. Um, and yeah, I'll, I'll um, keep working on this and, and send everyone a copy as soon as I'm, I'm able to. And then I'll reach out to Dave Zomack about the Robert For Frost Trail, right? And um, and I'll I'll certainly talk to Paul Balkelman about this as well. And yeah, so send me your comments and suggestions, and I'll try to package them together. And I can email them out before the uh, the November fourteenth meeting. Great, yeah. fantastic. Okay. All right, Shona, okay. did you have Great. anything you wanted to add? No. Good to see you here. <laughs> I hope your day Thanks, gets better. Guys. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I'm just I'm having the worst fall ever. So I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. sorry. Thanks, well, guys. So I move we adjourn then. Okay. okay. Thank you so Wait. much. All right. Okay. Thank, Thank you, you everybody. I, you Thanks. guys are Bye, nice. <laughs> Bye, Shoshana. Talk to you later. Thanks. Bye. Thanks. Bye. 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 Okay, I'm I'm gonna end. <laughs>